All right, you can see his head really good now. He's done, he's done picked on up there now. You just tell me, man, just go on. Everything's gonna be all right. All right, let's ride, Clyde. Show y'all what Derek did in one day in a couple of hours on today, cutting wise. Let me go out here a little ways and we're gonna spin the drone. Now this track right here, if you're a private landowner, this is the way you want your timber to look right here. When you look at that wall of trees right there, you can see what Derek covered right here in this entire day uh, Monday. And then about two hours on Tuesday, you can see Chad kind of toward the right upper part of the screen up there. But we're not pulling any hardwood out of this track at all. There's no hardwood on it. It's all pine. But look at the pine. Look at the wall of pine. And if you'll notice, you can't really see through it. It's thick. It's thicker. And if you want to get, the, you know, the gum and the, and the uh, poplar and all that stuff, keep it from growing. Don't thin it too much. If you thin it out, you open it up and you get it down. Man, some of these tracks that are, say, 70 to 80 stems per acre kind of deal, that's where you get all that hardwood coming up in them. But you can see that just have much more denser than it is in there and what it does is it it kills that sunlight going down to the ground if you get sunlight going down to the ground stuff's gonna grow and so those pine trees if you can you get them planted and they get to growing and and they're um, thick enough like that and don't when you thin them don't open them up too too much that's the results that you'll end up having right there the other thing that i want you to notice is on this on this cut over right here notice how clean it is once you get done cutting it like that when they're when they're left thicker it will be a cleaner cut when you're done with it uh you this there's not a lot you got to do to this one to get it back ready to plant it's very minimal stuff here to uh to work it so man all you do on these right here is you just start on one side of them and see Derek's way to the right down there that's his cut line you go all the way down to the end of the cut line cutting and then you move over and you come all the way back up again cutting and it man it makes it it makes life as a, as a logger I wouldn't say easier <laughs> Because nothing about logging is easy. I would say it would make it uh, somewhat <laughs> easier. Maybe a tad more enjoyable. You know what I mean? So this little section of clip right here didn't pick up the audio. It just it didn't even record it at all. And I hadn't had that happen in a, in a good little while. But it is what it is. No big deal. There's one after this one that has some uh, audio that this has the recording from the drone where you can hear the machines running and all that stuff so stay tuned through this what happened we we moved over here on this job we're real close to the job that we were working on last fall so it's just right down the road from where we're at so we come over here to kind of stage and the game plan is is when that job gets dry enough in the bottom we're just going to pick up off of this job and head over there and finish knocking it out. It's probably about 40 acres over there or so, something like that, maybe a little less to finish cutting. But this this job right here really can't stand no rain. We don't we don't need anything on it because it when it rained on it Friday, it got it pretty wet and wasn't even able to work. And so that's the reason why we're right here that the uh, way we are. Derek is kind of parked right now, but uh so uh, be paying attention to, to the rest of this uh, video here because the uh, audio is fixing to pick back up here in just a second. There's some good stuff on it too. We're flying up this road right here. And there, a court door. So that job I was just telling you about over there, you know, that we'll be going back to. We're gonna sit here and watch Kevin and we'll talk for a second. 
that's the same one that we were on the first week that we were on it when we got the call that uh, Jay had been uh, crushed by a uh, skid steer working on the skid steer. And the uh, boom actually fell on him and pinned him between the back of the boom and the, and the cab of the machine. And it messed OJ up. Uh, Jay has been out of work you know, coming up here a solid year. So uh, you should still, you should start seeing Jay back. I get asked about him all the time. You should start seeing Jay back in September. That's when he should be back. So it won't be long. All of uh, Jay's fans, fan club out there, or to be uh, happy to hear that. Uh, he is doing good. I've seen him quite a few times here in recent weeks. And uh, so he ought to be back hammering it out, turning wrenches, and uh, get to see him back in the videos again, uh, thankfully. But it's amazing how quick uh, life can change on you. You know, within the blink of an eye, really, really quick light. So, I uh, I was wanting to add that in. I wasn't watching my battery. I'd already done flew that this drone yesterday on that battery. So, I'd, when I took off, I didn't have like 56% on the battery. And I, I got the alarm set to where to go off at 25%. That way, if I'm sitting there yapping, uh, I got time to get back and do what I'm going to do. Especially if I'm a mile or so out there whatever because it, it takes a little even at a mile flying at 30 something miles an hour it takes a little bit to uh to fly back so it gives me enough time to, to get the drone back in but i'm gonna take a picture right here this is gonna make a good picture and i'm gonna shut this thing off for right now so uh, that'll be that i'll add some more stuff on into this video so this is gonna be a great little feel for this the sun's behind the drone i'm about to cut this thing up real quick get it uh as jason says we're gonna do some plowing <laughs> oh my goodness it ain't gonna take but just a little bit to uh this this field up here right here and get the tractor going If you're gonna be able to hear me very well or not i'll the phone up here pretty close to me where to pick up the audio but it's a little small spot right here it's all i'm gonna go just kind of ease around the outskirts of it and then i'll go back and forth in it probably not quite an acre right here i didn't think acres 210 by 210 feet this ain't gonna be 210 feet it might be if you can it on up to the right of where the drone was sitting at there's a little point up that way it might be it went all the way up there This is kind of crimping my style too because these uh, little fields like this, I usually like to run WFO <laughs> and I can't do it in this field. See, I'm coming back into view now. All right. Now we're gonna go back and forth. hard to do hold a controller not mess the drone up and then work the hydraulics I just had to stop to do it that time
this little field up last year. But I am this year. turn it up is all I want to do. It's disking really good too right now surprisingly. Absolute beast now, man. As far as active track following 
and stuff like what it's doing right now, that thing's awesome. It's probably gonna lose me when I go behind this tree. Let's see what it does if it picks up on me. Yep, lost me. All right, so I'm gonna put it up right now because I'm gonna take it in uh, the disc and I'm fixing to go ahead and lay this field on out right here real quick and get it uh, smoothed up. What I do to smooth it is I take the, all the bite out of the gangs right there on the back, lay them straight. It'll take those furrows right out right there, no problem. Man, y'all see that rattlesnake right there? That's a hoss. That dude. Yeah, some of the guns don't play. Look at him swelling up. Get my earplugs out so I can hear. I mean, a good one, boy. Look at him. He knows I'm here. I hear him buzzing. That's a hoss right there. Look at him swelling up. That thing's bigger than my arm is right there. Yeah, you know it? Hey, just let me know. Do not come no closer, man. We're going to be okay. All right, you can see his head really good now. He's done... He's done picked on up there now. You just tell me, man, just go on. Everything's going to be all right. That's a big rattlesnake right there. So there's one thing I want to point out at the end of this video right here about this snake. There's a guy that commented on my video the other day when I did the spraying, and he talked about when you spray uh, chemicals, which I was spraying Roundup on the roadside, that it kills all the reptiles. Uh, his name is a uh, crime bed, I believe is his name. Uh, that is not true. Uh, I hate when people put stuff in the comments like that and it's, and it's not true. Because here's the thing, if, if that was true, everybody around here in this area would be spraying Roundup to take out the snakes. The reason why that's not true is because that snake right there, that is the road that I sprayed the roadside of right after about a day or so after I sprayed it that snakes right there so that's proof that uh, that that's not true it don't hurt the, it don't hurt the snakes I mean if it did when they spray the roads here all the time why do we run over so many snakes in the roads so uh hope y'all enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun filming it I uh, think all of his drone stuff, except for this at the end here at the snake. And that's a massive rattlesnake right there. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding you. That's the uh, fourth different one right there in a month right there. And that, well, uh, two in that spot and then two not far from that either right there. So, uh, hope you all have a good day. We'll catch you all later. Later, taters.